1 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 0 is 1, 3 to the 0 is 1, pi to the 0 is 1, 117 to the 0 is 1. In fact, it's true for all positive real numbers as well. So infinity to the 0 power should be 1 also? That certainly seems true. It feels true. But is it? This might seem like a simple question at first glance, but it turns out the answer is not as simple as we might expect. Infinity is not a number in the same way 1, 2, 3, etc. are numbers. Infinity is a different concept that represents an unbounded quantity or a limitless extent. So one way to try to get around this problem is to tackle it with limits. Check out these two limits. As we let x grow larger and larger, both of these functions appear to approach this value of infinity to the zero power. However, using calculus techniques, we can evaluate these limits and find their true value, which are different. This is why infinity to the zero is known as an indeterminate form when we're talking about limits. We have to do some further inspection to actually determine what it is in that case. And this is sort of always the problem with limits when I try to answer these types of questions. They're not actually asking my original question, what is infinity to the zero exactly? If I could theoretically punch into my calculator infinity to the zero and hit enter, what would that be? It's for these reasons, among others, that mathematicians have chosen to let infinity to the zero be undefined. Just like many of these other forms we've covered, they aren't defined in the traditional sense for numbers. Exponentiation, a number to a number, is only true for numbers, not infinity. I've said it before, it's kind of like taking hexagon to the zero. What, what does that mean? It doesn't really make sense. But viewers of this channel know I hate to stop there. And I've briefly talked about wheel theory a couple of other times on this channel. This is a subject that, among other things, allows you to define things like infinity to the zero, you can divide by zero, and you can do a whole bunch of other things by introducing this wheel concept. And you can do a whole bunch of other things if you introduce this nullity element. It's like this ultra absorber. And so anytime we interact with it, it just becomes the nullity. And so this is one way you can get around defining things like infinity to the zero. As far as that intuitive definition, well, none exists, but we could create one just for the purposes of this video to scratch that itch. Let's define, for the purposes of this video only, infinity to the zero power to be a limit. Intuitively, this sort of means taking the limit as x grows to infinity of x to the zero. Fortunately, we can algebraically simplify this. x to the zero is one for any real number, and the limit of a constant is that constant. And so if you want a definition that kind of makes intuitive sense, you could define infinity to the zero to be this. Just keep in mind, if you try to use this definition out of context, like any time outside of this video, it's not going to be true. And when you start diving into these things like infinity to the zero, you start to wonder what other kind of weird forms are out there, like one to the infinity. I tackled it in this video, and you should definitely see what it is. I'll see you in that one.